Okay, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, Robert's Video Machine. Don't forget to subscribe. And give me a thumbs up and like the video as well. I really appreciate it. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing. And this is of a dash cam. This is a next to base dash cam. The model number is 622GW. And this is a 4K dash cam. This is it here. And then this is the accessory. It's basically a rear view camera that adapts to it. And then I bought the accessory kit for the SD card as well. It recommends that you use theirs. I just went ahead and bought the whole thing together, the whole bundle. But let's see what comes in the box for the camera. I will be doing an installation video and then also a separate review video showing like the features and the functions of the camera. So first let's take a look and see what comes in the camera in the box along with the camera so that one is I guess shrink wrapped or wrapped or whatever you can see here oh, they have one of these things let's go ahead and get this out of the way Can see how it opens up here. They give you, I guess, a sticker with the next base logo. Well, thank you for purchasing the product. It does appear like these are from England, or the company is from England. And you can see the different languages here. I know there's one camera that they sell that is not available in the U.S. to buy, but this one is. So it's a quick start guide as well. And you can see how the packaging is for the camera. So let me get this out of the way. I guess you can see instructions of the features of this installation as well, maybe. And you can see here how everything is laid out. There's the mount. You can see it's not a suction cup, it's an actual mount. I guess so. Um, adhesive with 3M adhesive. Here is the power cable. It's one of the circular, I guess, for the circular power adapters in your car, cigarette lighter or whatever. And this is a separate adhesive that they do give you in case you want to swap out between vehicles because this mount here does come off. And I'll be showing that probably in the, in the features guide the functions and let's see here I guess it's some type of tool I'll look into see what this is for and here's a separate power cable as well so you could actually power it with this cable here or it could be for the computer as well but I do know you can use that as well and then this is for the longer one So they do provide you wipes and a cloth, and this is for that installation where you're gonna put it on the window. Because when you do apply it, that's everything in the box there. When you do apply it, those 3M um, adhesives are super tight. And I heard it's virtually impossible to get them off as soon as you you know, properly install it. So here's the camera here. Let me get out of this packaging. You can see the camera here. That's what will be pointing towards the street or in front of you. You can see where the SD card goes. There's the power button. Okay. In here. I wonder what this is. I gotta see. It's a connection of some type. Oh, this is the adapter where the rear camera would connect to. So I'll show you how that goes because that's one of the accessories that you have. And then up here on the top is where you could actually connect 
like if you want to connect it directly to a, a PC or whatever. And then also it's for power as well, but they do recommend that you use the regular power to the base itself. This is where it gets the power and it connects to the camera itself. So there's the full view of the camera. You can see the next base logo on it. So next, let's take a look at the rear view camera. And this one is adapted to show basically what's in the car, but you could also zoom further out and try to get like what's in the rear view camera in case you don't have a rear camera. This kind of helps. Let's see how this one opens up. Okay. This is kind of like it's more basic packaging. So that's everything in the box. They do provide you, I guess, a small, you know, quick installation or review thing. And here is the camera. And you can see here, this is how the camera would be facing outward. And this adapter basically would plug in here to show, that's how it would look like what's back inside the car. And like I said, you could zoom out. There's a feature on it. I gotta, I gotta look it up and see how you do it. That'll zoom further out so you can see kind of what's in the rear uh, view of the car. Kind of like a, I guess a rear view mirror, if you would like. Um, I gotta see how what the difference is on those two. And then of course the last piece of it is I did purchase this um, 32 gig memory card it's because they recommended that you use their brand I just decided to buy the whole bundle because I didn't want any issues with memory cards. But I'm sure you could use different types of memory cards that are basically the same specs as what they provide. So there's a small case where you could actually carry the camera if you're going to be switching it between vehicles. And that's everything in the box. And then here is the micro SD card. It's a U3. So I'm sure if you would get the same specs, you shouldn't have any issue, but I just decided to go with the next piece. But it does come with the adapter, and then there you can see the SD card. So let me just show this camera again. Kind of see how it looks like there. And then this would mount to the vehicle. I'm gonna be showing it on the installation guide. Let me get it out of its packaging so I can show you real quick. I don't know if you can see there. That is where it would get the power to the vehicle itself, where it mounts. So let me know what you think about the video. Leave any comments. And like I said, subscribe. Like the video. Give me a thumbs up. And I will be showing an installation video separate. So. Put on the notification so you get notified when that gets posted and i will be doing a review video as well showing uh, basically the functionality and everything that you can do with the camera itself all right thank you very much